Hey guys, Josh Spoon, Ableton Certified Trainer, Producers Kitchen, and we're continuing our series talking about the book Making Sounds uh, by Christopher Olbwist. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Chris, I'm sorry if I keep butchering it, but um, I'm just going through some of the great posts that he's put on Twitter, on his Twitter account, uh, Magnetic Sound, and he's promoting the book Making Sounds. And me and Chris talked, and he's made me an affiliate for his book. So I'm just going through some of the tips. Uh, if you buy the book through the link below, um, Chris will get some cash. I will get some cash. You will get some knowledge. Um, so I'm helping him promote. He's got really great tips. The book is really cool. Um, the one that we're going to look at today is you could tighten up a recording room or artificial reverb by using a transient designer. Um, attack up, sustain down, works best with zero pre-delay. So I'm going to break this into two parts. Um, one is going to be how to do it natively in Ableton Live uh, to get a pretty decent um, transient designer. And then the other one is going to be using um, Surreal Machines, uh, transient machines. And those guys make really awesome stuff. I'll talk more about that later. But first let's get into the pure native Ableton way to do this. I have a couple of tracks here that we'll talk about later, but there's a drum groove here that you can find in Loopmaster's mixtape. Um, I flattened it, so I uh, can't tell you where it is, but if you have that pack, like I've said, multiple videos, it's really awesome. So here's the beat by itself. So you could hear there's a lot of room in here. So one way that we can get that out is by turning the attack up and the sustain down. Uh, we don't really have an attack per se in the way that I'm going to use this, but we do have a way to cut the sustain so it's just punchy notes. And the way that you do that is going double clicking on the clip and then here in the warp section there are different warp modes. So it's already on beats, but what we're going to look at here is the preserve. So right now it's on transient. So every little one of these little light gray ticks is a transient. That's where the spikes are in the volume or amplitude. And so here we've got the transient um, loop mode. So right now it's uh, playing forward and then playing backward to fill in the gaps depending on the tempo. So this is playing a little bit faster so it doesn't really have to do that. But um, this is the tempo of the clip, if you don't know. And then this is the master tempo. So Live uses mathematics. Obviously, they figure out like how fast do I need to play this to keep it in time. So as you change the tempo, it stays in time. It's one of the great things about Ableton Live. So I'm going to change this uh, preserve. Uh, actually, I'm going to change the loop mode to just forward. So there's forward. Um, I always forget the second one. So there's... Um, there's off, and then there's loop forward, and then there's loop back and forth. So that's the one I already talked about. Um, but we're going to go to the off. So what's going to happen is it's going to play through um, the transient and then stop. There would be, if we had any um, time difference or tempo difference, there would be just audio gaps. One way to kind of simulate that, even though the tempo hasn't changed much, is to lower the envelope. So it's just like an ADSR, like you have an attack and then a decay. So right now the decay is pretty much just like open. So it's just sustaining until the next transient. But what we're going to do is kind of cut that shorter and shorter until it's pretty much just the transient. So if we play it, you'll hear. And as I lower it, you see it tightening up. There's less room showing up. Works pretty well. You hear a little bit of leakage here and there to, when there's a couple of instruments happening at the same time, but it's a pretty good way to tighten up your drums and get rid of some of the room. Uh, then that allows you to add your own reverb or um, different effects that you didn't want coming after reverb. Um, also, it just really gives it more focus. So that's a quick way to be able to um, use a transient designer in Ableton Live natively. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Transient Machines, which is a Max for Live device. So definitely check that out. 
Um, really great product, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to always be creating.